All right, let's talk about icebox. How it works. All the shit we'll need for Premier later, hopefully. Uh, there's a, a lineup for this wall, so that when we're attacking there's no gaps. Really common thing is like top side there'll be a little gap if you don't throw it properly. And someone will just sit top side and kill you as you try and plant. That's super common. Um, if we play with Annie or in general, depending on the comp we play, we might have a Sage Wall plant, which would be great. But in general, Icebox is very defense sided. The reason for that is <laughs> B is very easy to stop plants with KJ Mollies, Viper, Viper Mollies, Viper Store. Just spamming from Snowman. Taking yellow isn't particularly easy, you have to worry about orange people. Going mid isn't particularly easy because a lot of places that defenders can stand. There's no easy one-way place to go to always win. A is typically the best and you'll see a lot of pro teams just exec A every round because the rest of the map is a bit of a horror. But when that doesn't work, what you'll instead see is teams will just default. They'll default as long as possible hoping that the defense will make some kind of a mistake or you can find a gap. And the reason for that is you have these four avenues and obviously you have five players, right? And so you want to try and sneak somebody through one of these avenues based off of how you kind of detect that they're playing. Now, if they have KJ or, or Cypher or some kind of electric ship watching these avenues, then part of our default needs to be making sure that we're breaking this and we're breaking this. Now, easiest way to do that is with server dart like silver dart somewhere around here. It's not uncommon to put the actual alarm button towards the smoke to see if somebody walks through this way. So once you put the, your viper up, up mid, just shocking the orb, it's pretty good. Um, having someone immediately start off mid just to see if enemy killjoy runs up and puts the alarm button also, it's pretty good. If you don't see it, then there's a good chance that it's here and then you can try and shock at it. But a good thing to do is to maybe throw the smoke a little bit deeper and walk up and just take like this fight, right? So you're, you're kind of just looking down orange for a little gap in the smoke. And as you do that, then you're like, if you can have Sova do that, if nobody's here, Sova can just yeet a, yeet a dark and quickly come back into here. The only thing that Sova really needs to worry about after he's kind of gotten back towards here is this guy walking down too. So you just kind of stare at the tube angle. Just to see if someone trades you trying to break the, the thing. So let's say you are successful right, in your enemy team. A lot of people like to stack A because like I said before, everybody is trying to go A. You know, like most teams are just going to try and attack A every round. And so there's probably three here and then one B and then one dude floating somewhere mid. That should be Gojo. So KJ is either going to be here or here or here or here. like somewhere around mid and your job is pretty much to break all of the killjoy shit that's watching for her and this is the most common setup and once you've broken that what's going to happen is one of these people from a is going to wander over and be like like kj is going to be like oh there's people mid and then that pulls people this way so that might be like okay if viper orb's been up and this is broken and kj is on the right side of tube KJ no longer knows, is somebody orange? All right, we don't know. They could have walked through the smoke. And if you've walked through the smoke and you imagine you're playing on B, if you're up yellow, you're no longer going to be comfortable, right? Like jiggling this, because somebody could be walking like this and shooting you in the back. And so what most people will just instinctively do if there's no orange player is just to walk back. So they're either going to go top side or orange or snowman. And if they do that, you're far more susceptible to a fake. So let's kind of talk about why. If you are back site, you have really shit info. Right, let's say you're here. If Sova's alone and he walks up and he drones this, you know, he like maybe darts close. The dart doesn't see anybody close, great. He drones, drones through yellow, doesn't see anyone, and then Viper breaks the drone as it gets towards here or it times out, whatever. Viper, all she sees is your default wall goes up and the drone is coming and they're gonna assume it's a b hit when really it could just be Sova or it could be his entire team we don't know viper doesn't have info because she was pushed away from yellow because we had this mid pressure so mid pressure is a massive part of icebox um 
this lumber, by the way, can also be in kitchen. Something that we can also do is um, once we've broken this turret, so let's say we don't put the orb up at the start of the round, uh, we like double swing mid or something like that. There's a nice dart land up that lands here. Like bounce off of this part, like stand, uh, stand here, bounce it off of here, and it goes like that. Uh, it's in the, the Sova book for this map. Um, if you do that, then you plus like one other dude, probably Jeff, can swing together in cases like someone stood with this turret, right? Let's say nobody's here, you just break turret, easy. Let's say there's no person and no turret, great. All you have to do is wander into two, and you'll need a, some kind of like smoke on the right, because there's a lot of off angles around here that can see into tube. And so you want to avoid that fight, I would say. So easiest thing is to just jet smoke it. Uh, there are also lineups, should you want to do that, where you orb this instead. That would negate, you know, these people back here. Uh, the objective being, same as before, all you want to do is break this. Now, you might think, oh, like, we've gotten all of this mid space, right? So do we want to go mid to A, mid to B? The theme of Icebox on attack is to just go really fucking slow. So you've taken mid, fantastic. You broke this alarm bot. Every time you do something like this, you break the KJ setup. You know, the, the turret's gone, the alarm bot in kitchen is gone. KJ's freaking out. She's telling everybody, my alarm bot's dead, my turret's dead. I don't know if they're mid. They could be hitting B. Viper's probably run here. But what do the A players do? The A players are running from, like, uh, from... Or from A, through spawn, and either reclearing kitchen or going straight to B, whatever, right? A should be weaker. And so, generally, the best play is going to be have someone make a ton of noise. So, probably the Jet, right? Hopefully, she's kept her dash up until this point. And Jet is just here being obnoxious. She's just like, she's running around in kitchen. She's like, um, self smoking the cross. So, she's using second smoke here and just running through. And she's like, where the fuck is Viper? Because Viper's probably solo, right? She probably, like, has, because we've lost mid-pressure, she's either gone into orange to clear it herself, or she's gone back snowman or backside. So you have this kind of 1v1 temporarily that puts a ton of pressure, like, win or lose, you're, you're pulling a lot of people here because it looks real. And in the meantime, your team can just kind of sneak away. And then again, there's either going to be, like, one person here or there's going to be nobody here. And either way, it's a good sight. So once you have the bomb down, suddenly, obviously, it's very attacker-sided. But you have to make sure that you plant properly. So if you are planting, the best plant spots are, like, the most kind of regular is this, right? And you can play post-plant from belt, from jail, and you can walk up and, you know, go around. The downside is you can't fight from mid or from uh, nest or pipes. Like, this is a little bit of an angle, but it's not great. Pipes isn't great, you'd have to cross to here, and that's pretty vulnerable. So it's pretty much just these two angles. So if you have long range guns, like you have vandals and stuff, this is a great plan. Um, especially because even if they smoke it, you can plant right up against the wall, which means that they only have like half a circle to defuse, right? So you can spam relatively safely. And because you're so far away, like counter spam isn't really that much of a concern. But you're going to want to have people who like, say you have like one dude on pipes, right? This guy's job is basically going to be stop this guy from running, like the guy who's on defense, from running up here and shooting my guy who's on pipes. So they're kind of like a, I don't know, you guys have that in football, right? Or like your people who defend like the quarterback or whatever. Um, okay, so let's say you don't have long range guns. Uh, another option for plant, especially if you know lineup for here, is to plant topside. So you. This, the nice thing about this is you can get here quite quickly. So if you've done you've done a fake on B and you're just sprinting A and making a ton of noise, you can quickly get up the rope here and just rope across, drop on top side and plant. Now you want to, the only caveat to this is if you plant right on the edge here, somebody can be on this little step, like right here and diffuse. And if you do that, then they're just going to get a free diffuse because you can only see the head. Um, Obviously, if there's no smoke, you might kill them, but if they have any smoke left, then you're just fucked because you can't spam anymore. Um, because of the nature of how Vipers defend A with like a wall like this that goes on top of Fortan, 
if you all play for spam, you'll probably lose the round unless you still have KJ Molly lineup, Viper Molly lineup, and then maybe somebody flanking back through mid. Um, now, one of the upsides to this top site plan is that mid can see. So if they go on this little step, then there's a little angle where you can see top site. It's not fantastic depending on where they're stood, but it might be good for a free kill. And if not, hopefully your team can delay and they can just walk up, go up the rope and shoot people from behind. Because they're going to be worried about all of the people over here, right? Um, so, the reason I mention this is you, you ideally want to keep sight as long as you can. You're going to hold this, hold this. And the longer that you keep this, the later you then have to leave sight and play for spam. And then after that you can then play for your, your various mollies. So, yeah, you kind of want to, like, kind of fake pressure here. Like, you don't want to fight for it until you die, but you want to delay as much as possible. So if you have Sage, then you want to use your fucking slows, wall off the bomb. This is, like, a very common... You wall off bomb, and then you plant on this side of the wall. And the reason you do that is one of the downsides to the top site plant is if somebody is here and they hear the bomb go down top site, they can spam like this and you potentially can die. And if this guy is sober, they might even dart and then she she's even worse, obviously. Okay, so what does that mean for attackers? Like, attackers in general, you're going to want to play really slow. So one, slow. <laughs> Terrible writing. Okay, that's the first point. You want to break all of the KG to find out where it is, pull people towards mid. Once you've pulled people towards mid, that allows people, like whoever it might be, to then uh, pull pressure. So you want to pull people towards B, pull people towards mid, and then you go wherever you want to go, depending on what happens, right? So like, let's say you kill the, the Viper who's like trying to aggressively hold yellow. Great, you can just fucking run it, right? Get your plant down, play for post plant. That's fine. Let's say you pull all of these people mid, and then somebody lurks up towards A and gets to here. Like this is a pretty good angle because it negates like this guy who's on site. So as you walk up, you just have to be careful. Once you get to like here, this guy sees you. This is a pretty safe place to hold A from is right here. Because the only person who sees you is this guy. So you think, you know, you're walking up left side. You just got to be careful for this angle. So first you have to be careful for this angle on Jen because there could be someone hiding here. So you clear that one first, you don't see anybody. You step a little bit to, to the right of 410. You walk up. Okay, I'm gonna, the guy's too big. So you walk up like this on the right side of 410 and you clear gem. And I'm talking about lurking, you haven't made noise yet. So you clear this guy. You don't see anybody there, great. You continue walking left. And if there's nobody here, great. Then, your next one is screens, right? So from here, you're then going to step forwards and take a look towards screens. You don't have to clear this. You just have to see is somebody from like boiler watching or somebody from generally mid. And the reason for that is then the last thing we want to clear is backside. So you want to take another step. And the reason for that is if you've made it all this way silently, there's a good chance there's somebody here, like someone backside who's watching this angle and they didn't see you cross because they missed the timing. And that's that's really common, you see that in a lot of games. So you want, as you're making your noise mid and your noise B, one round what we can do is just have somebody lurk up, clear gen, clear screen, and then get this kill for free, hopefully. And then obviously if you manage to get a kill like that, then you you guys are gonna go ahead. Um, There are some fast rounds that are available, but they should be pretty uncommon. Um, so fast rounds, obviously you, everyone can just send it there, that's super classic, but you can smoke mid and then jet just goes under two with like a, so you instant dart this, there's like a block here, you bounce the dart off, so it goes like this and then back onto the wall. And when it's back on the wall, jet dashes up into the smoke, stands in the smoke as the dart is landing, do we see anybody orange? If no, fantastic, your dart has cleared like this. And then all Jet has to worry about is this fight. 
from kitchen. But she can step left and because of this little like this shit, she doesn't have to worry about this bee guy yet. So all she has to worry about is kitchen. Does she make it past kitchen? Fantastic. She can smoke it if she wants to not look at it and just knife out run. But probably it's better is to just stare at this angle as she runs to the left and then run towards me. And the reason we're running is this B person, like the other person, the rest of the team is going to be going towards B. So you have your your sober, you can have a late look mid and try and catch people who are trying to quickly support B. Or your sober can go back B and your other three players are going to be B, like B main. And so these guys are going to be heavy fighting and if there's a guy yellow, we can relatively safely assume this guy is probably solo. And so Jet needs to be going as quickly as possible to here kill Viper and then you have a very like fast potential to kill people who are rotating by running Sturman because you're ahead of all of the util and you're ahead of a lot of timings because you fucking dashed under. Um, so that's one strat that you can do to go really fast. Um, and for A the thing to, thing to worry about is up so like this up angle for example. Super common, people die to it all the time. So if they do have up money, what you're going to want to do is just wander up onto belt and then drop like this. And there's never a point that the, the op only sees to here, right? And so if you go onto belt and you go down like this, then you're chilling, right? Like you never walk into the, the angle. And once you get here, you just use yourself. So you use a drone, use whatever you have to get the op off the angle and to get through this choke. And once you're through the smoke, you guys have smokes and things like that, you're going to want to try and close sight and basically trade off the op. The op, jet, like as soon as they're in this position, they've been tagged, they're going to be pretty uncomfortable. If you can get that dash out of them, great, because once they've used dash, they're not going to be comfortable enough to stay on sight because they'll just be traded. If you don't get dash out of them, then you still have to use util to clear things. So once you've used this drone, let's say they shoot drone and they took back sight, then we're going to have to use use dart and maybe like dash 410 with it and then have your people kind of scale to where the dart glid okay so obviously like viper wall goes uh, across this and we're going to aim for this plant and play really fast post plant so when you are playing a fast a round the expectation is you're probably just going to get sight but then there's going to be a really fast retake that's going to have a viper wall like this. And so the worry there is that you're not going to have enough to stop them. And so you kind of need to still have some Uta left, like you need to have your darts. Ideally you need to have a dart coming back up relatively soon. So you want to use that early enough in the hit that it's going to be back up. You want to have a Sova ult. You want to have your mollies available. So this is like all of this together is like maybe at best like 20 seconds, right? So you think like you tap bomb, Sova all goes off, Viper Molly, that, this isn't enough by itself, so it has to kind of be with this, and then you have one more Killjoy Molly, and then you bought maybe 15, 20 seconds at best. So that means we need to buy 20 seconds worth of time by fighting on site. So you need to have your guy here kind of pulling attention and stopping this guy from just running out and starting to retake back site. Because you want to threaten that you have somebody here or that you have somebody here who's still fighting, or someone top side or somebody top 410 for as long as you can up until they use too much util and you have to fall back. Now you can fight to the death, it's not too bad if this guy dies, but if you are Viper, Sova, KJ, these three all have to be alive and all have to know how to get their mollies onto wherever the, the plan is, which probably here. Um, who is the last guy in this comp? I guess it depends, right? Some people play Omen, some people play Sage. Not double controller. You probably won't play Chamber. Oh, it's KO. Okay, so. I'm assuming we're probably not going to play KO. So, the, okay. Let's move to um, just start of round. The other thing to think about is if we don't dart this, then this is no longer kind of safe area. So if you do dart it and they don't break it, fantastic. You want to have it deep enough that people can't just break it from sight. It needs to be um, 
See how it's like a little bit right of the wall? That means that people who are like here and here can't break it. This guy can still break it, which is very annoying. But there's not that much you can do about it. You can shoot it even deeper. But the purpose of the dart is to stop somebody who's like stood on top of pipes from peeking. Or this guy who like runs up and like runs like this and tries to kill somebody and get out. So it basically just stops anti-aggression and gives you this space. And once you have this space, you don't then have to immediately go into an A hit. It just allows you to take a lobby. So you want to have somebody basically like here, staring, and just kind of waiting to see, is somebody going to push up and be like late aggressive? Or is, are they taking early A pressure? Now, teams will take early A pressure, but they won't stay there. Like They, they might leave one anchor, like maybe here. This is probably the best place. To just have like this info but this is a little aggressive like pipes is also or bell is very aggressive but pipes is most common like just having a dude here who kind of like jiggles to the right checks this doesn't see anything and then you'd have a second guy who's holding bell now if they take early aggro so like they they push bell and this guy is like into here be like great everybody else who is a is then going to leave so you're gonna have like killjoy viper and then plus one. I don't know who the plus one is as on the team. But plus one is going to rotate and be like here. Because the rest of the map, if they they see that this is quiet, then th this side of the map is going to be reinforced. So what you need to do is push this guy and this guy back to A. And to do that, you have to win this first A lobby fight. So we have to go in with Sobadart, if necessary, we can go in and, like, from here, drone. Just to kind of clear anybody who's pipes. But if there is a, a guy who is playing pipes, then they can jump up and kill this guy droning. And you can't stand behind here until you know that the jail is clear. So it's a little tough if they're fighting super aggressive. Um, but it is super critical that we take a lobby, so we kind of have to figure that out. Okay, so start of the round. We take a lobby, great. We throw Viper Smoke, and we start thinking about how we're going to break this. And our wall is probably always defaulted on B, unless we decide that we're going fast A, then we might as well have the A wall. Um, but most rounds, we're going to want to have a wall on B to allow somebody to walk up to here. So we put the wall up, and then you just walk behind it, you walk behind it. You only have one fight, which is here to here. Once you've cleared that, you can be behind the box drop your wall and kind of wander up right side. Now, another common place for a Lombard is if KJ is playing B instead of mid, she might have a Lombard here. And if she is, we're going to want to break that all the time because it's exactly the same. Like all of KJ's alarm shit is going to push people to wherever you cause alarm. And if you don't do anything, you're just going to allow a strong side of the map. So let's say KJ's B, she has a Lombard here. And she has a turret that's watching, like, kitchen. It's not an amazing setup, but it's not terrible. Um, if Viper sees no wall and... Oh, sorry. KJ sees no wall and nobody breaks a Lombard, there's going to be 4A. <laughs> like, there's maybe going to be, like, one dude watching mid, but A is going to be really strong. And so to stop that from happening, we need to break this Lombard. So KJ is freaking out and saying, oh, like, there's, there's people towards B. And that forces at least like one of these dudes from A to come towards B and make it 2 on 2. And 2 on 2 is hittable. And so you can kind of see how like KJ or whoever the, the senti is, like it can be Cypher, it can be Sage. If it's Sage, it's a lot easier because you can just default and just decide to hit a site without having to clear these things. But you can way more easily look. So if there's no electric senti, all we have to do is basically use these pockets late into the round to try and find some kind of like a lurk angle. And once you've done that, they're going to perma have someone here. And then rather than just giving up, we just fight that with more people. So we, we double swing them and we push this guy back and we basically say mid is scary. Like they could be kitchen, they could be orange, they could be walking a mid. And so that then forces these pe people B who might have a, like advanced space to run away. And these people A to maybe come off of A and then like check mid angles if you know this guy is uh, pushed off of the angle. So 
especially if we do like a, a deeper smoke. Okay, that's attack, defense, basically the opposite of what I said, right? Like, ideally, you want to have this A space, like you want to be fighting this, breaking the dart, and maintaining control of this. And the best, like, space for that is to be on pipes. Um, sometimes, like, I'll I'll get caught going on the belt and then pushing all the way, and I'll be like a rat. Like, once you get to here, there's just so many angles that they can be. Um, like, as you're kind of walking up here, this is probably the worst spot, because, like, a lot of, uh, like, belt, lower, here, somewhat far away. There's nowhere good to pre-aim once you get here, and you made noise getting to here. So, you generally can't go further unless you have good info that they're hitting B. So if I see 5, I'll go. And if they haven't been lurking, I might go. But this control is going to be really important. So we're going to want to have like 2 fighting for early A every round until they start using more and more util to push us away from A. And then we can wait and fight here. So we can be like, okay, you use dart, you use drone, you use a flash, whatever. They take early A, and then from here we can more confidently fight for sight. And this is going to be the same kind of thing as what I was talking about with this guy who's trying to fight here, but trying not to die and to long game just leave. Is on defense, you want to be fighting enough to draw lots of util out so they don't have it for post plant, because post plant is really tough without util. So this guy just basically wants to be jiggling, maybe taking like a raw aim duel, and just trying to show the enemy team that there's somebody still on site, Jet's still here, plus one. And if you do that, if you show that, that there is presence, then they need to use more util to push you away. It's kind of like the op example that I gave. But if you're still opping on site, then if you show that you're still there and you haven't used dash yet, you're still a threat. But if you use dash early, like let's say you get like a drone tags you and you just immediately dash away then you're no longer a threat right so they don't have to use additional util so you want to kind of greed out as much util as you can and then get out safely and that that line is really challenging um so that's a lot of the game is you want to kind of be sticky a eh? try and put pressure here without kind of killing yourself ideally have someone like you can have a b here and here like if you get early A control. I did like this guy, this guy kind of tucks and lets this guy take contact or this guy can be really aggressive and this guy would come here and swing off Omen's contact. That's not too bad. Um, either way, um, that's a nice way to kind of uh, take early A control. Um, similarly, we also need to have the same kind of setup where we have KJ turret, KJ a Lombard somewhere around here. Um, if we do have it under, then something we do have to worry about is if we lose sight, like the same kind of smoke, and somebody can cross the kitchen, if we have that Lombard or it's under tube, somebody could get up tube, and so your KJ has to play like you. Yeah. Uh, which isn't terrible, you know, that's doable. It's just a gap that you need to be aware of. Um, Viper ideally is going to be playing somewhere over here where they're basically checking for B main info. You can greed this fight sometimes if you want. Um, and if you notice that they're always going A, then what you can do is get your Sova to yeet a dart, like here, and from like uh, from here, instead of using like an early dart on A. Um, what this does is it clears this angle. And so what Viper can do is walk up. You can walk up and go this way because she knows that this angle is clear. So rather than um, walking up like that, why like there could be people kind of looking around, you get this kind of free angle and it's a relatively inconspicuous dart that you can use this for info, right? So it's not too bad. Um, the Viper can kind of hang out like a uh, kind of walk up to the end here about like fully committing and if she hears drone or something like that she falls because like most B hits are gonna like start with a drone here um she can fall away if she starts to hear util or like jet up drafting here or you know whatever but if she hears nothing and this dart sees nothing then viper can kind of greed get up here 
And that does exactly what we talked about earlier, where if you allow early A control in the same vein, if you allow early B control, then this guy can say, it's A, everyone stack A. And then we have free A and then probably like a, maybe KJ towards kitchen, um, because you still have to worry about like this and losing B from it. So yeah, defense objectives. Try and get early control of either A or B using Sova's info. So Sova can either dart deep B uh, here, it can either dart deep A like here or here. A lot of different darts you can do. Um, fighting with like with jet, so like Sova plus jet on A or something like that, um, to try and take this deep A control. And if you do manage to successfully get it, you have to be allowed to do it. Like you're never going to silently get this spot. Like you have to use util to get it. And so the defense are going to know that you have it. So either they're going to use util to re-clear this area. And I think that's probably the best option. But if you don't, then it's going to solidify the other side of the map because jet sober is going to say, go, go stack B because we have earlier. And then after a little bit, this guy's probably going to leave and just leaves the solo guy. And then it'll be 4B if you go too slow. So if we're in the same position and we lose early A control, we're going to want to push this person away so they don't just get to stack B. Um, but there is a very small timing where whilst these guys are fighting for this control, it is possible to take B whilst they still have one dude. Because it's still fair, right? They have one, one mid, two A, two towards B somewhere, we like orange, yellow, something like that. There's still a gap where you can hit B and maybe get bombed down. But it's super challenging because uh, KJ will put her nanos like just on the side of the wall so they can't easily be uh, broken. It's still possible with like a shock. You wanna, you wanna try and shock before you run up and try and plant. Um, and yeah, that's going to delay plant. And uh, Viper will also have like orb here plus snake bite. So that's kind of your job on B. Like if you're defending, you're going to want to have orb here, Viper, or at least one KJ molly here. And then ideally like know how to molly and just like walk out to the right here. And then as they kind of have this wall up, you just molly default. And that stops the plant. If they are playing Sage and they're walling to get bomb down, then as soon as you hear that wall, you have to spam to break the pieces to walk through. Um, okay, that's most of what you need to know. Let's talk quickly about a B hit. If you're attacking, that's a very common dart that goes like this. And what this dart does, it clears close. Now, the downside to how the map is now is it doesn't fully clear close properly anymore. There's little angles where like you can be like tucked right here. Well, if you're here, you're going to see this guy, but the dart won't see them. Um, the other downside is that some Vipers will smoke this. It's a nice little like one way, but it also protects a lot of angles from this dart without having to break it. They can kind of hang out around the orb and still take these fights in kind of like the false safety that the, the dark lit it. So you start, start with this. Some servers kind of acknowledge that it's not good enough to dart if they're really heavily fighting this. And they'll instead walk up garage, uh, garage and then drone these angles, making sure to like look down and clear right side and clear left side. And you'll get towards yellow, but I don't think your drone is going to quite reach here. You can reach here if you hug the left side. Um, but yeah, if you didn't use dart and use drone, then you should be able to instead, like your drone is probably never making it to yellow, it's getting shot by someone. Um, you instead can then dart back yellow. So your hit will look something like you throw your wall, server runs up, server drones, close all of the close angles, jet jumps up onto here, smokes top side, or smokes top yellow, and then dashes to top yellow whilst this star is landing. And the reason for that is whilst you're in a smoke, it's hard for people to shoot you, but everyone else is lit up by this dart. So if there's anybody yellow or in this general kind of danger area, Jet gets a pretty free fight towards them. If there's nobody here, great. Your next objective is to run up, get Sova to shock close, to try and break any mollies, and then try and plant. And then <laughs> what is not uncommon 
is you'll start to have this barrage of various mollies start to come towards D4. That'll be really challenging to plant. So what I would say is if you don't get the, f the first attempt to plant down, just leave. Now, that isn't too uncommon of a scenario. If you are leaving, I would just have your jet make noise. So your jet is just kind of hanging out yellow and she's just keeping these bee people occupied by taking some kind of aggressive peaks, but not over committing to them. So she's like, she's yellow and she's loud about it, but she's kind of like jiggling, fighting snowman and then tucking and then going here and jiggling, fighting this guy and then coming back. And then in the meantime, your guys are trying to slowly walk out. And once you get to like here, you can run. But if you run here, these people orange will hear you and they'll beat you today. So you can't run whilst you're here. You have to wait until you're like here. So your jet is really loud, she's distracting them, you're walking, you're walking, you get to here and you fucking bolt A. And it should be a little faster if your jet is convincing, especially if you give jet any util. Um, you won't have a whole lot to give, <laughs> but uh, it's cycling like uh, your Viper Smoke while she's fighting, and then your jet being super loud can be enough uh, after you've tapped the bomb once, because that will then seem like it's real. Um, so that's, that's B hit. We covered it in mid. That's about everything that you need to know about Icebox. Really tough map for attackers. It's just very slow, very like punishing defenses' mistakes, finding all of KJ's util. Um, and on defense, it's kind of trying to protect your util. And then when you are um, kind of challenged by people breaking your util, you just uh, kind of you just try and fill the gaps with eyes. So. Once this turret is broken, you put a person there. And once this alarm button is broken, you put a person there. <laughs> um, but you can see how if you break turret and you break alarm bot, you then can't have a third person here without having someone leave it. And so then somebody has to come towards B. Or this person has to sit backside and B becomes weaker. So breaking KJ Util is the name of the game. Which is, uh, probably MVP. Um, that and playing around Jet Up is like quintessential icebox yeah that's about everything all right good luck